We have a new type of intersection here at the corner of Madonna and DeWitt Drive, and it's called a protected intersection. So what is a protected intersection? Well, it's very similar to a traditional intersection, except that it provides more separation and visibility between the different modes of travel. Since being in a car, on a bike, on foot, or in a wheelchair, each have their own unique needs. This is achieved by what are called corner islands. Corner islands help slow down automobile traffic at right turns where it is particularly critical for safety. Corner islands also make those who are on a bike or on foot more visible and decrease the distance for those walking or using a wheelchair to cross the intersection. For drivers, a protected intersection is very similar to a typical intersection. Look for people on bikes in the bike lane on your right-hand side and expect to see bikes stop further up where they can be better seen by drivers. When making a right turn, Avoid the corner island curbs, including mountable truck aprons that help larger vehicles navigate a wider turn radius. Another thing to remember is to look out for pedestrians. Be sure to yield to them in the crosswalk as you would at a typical intersection. Some people on bikes don't feel safe merging into traffic to make a left turn. A protected intersection is designed to make that a little bit easier. You can make a left turn by using the perimeter of the intersection writing in a counterclockwise fashion, unless markings indicate otherwise. As you approach the intersection, stay in the bike lane until you reach the corner island. When the light is green and it is safe to cross, ride in the bike lane to the corner island on the other side of the intersection. Then turn your bike left and wait at the limit line, requesting a green light in the new direction. When the light is green and it is safe, proceed in the bike lane through the intersection in the new direction. Be safe out there and look for more protected intersections to come.